Hi guys, this is Miss Mary. I thought I'd come and do a little video with y'all and see how you're doing and hang out with you a little bit because when y'all didn't come through my door this morning, I was really sad and I'm really starting to miss you guys and was wondering what you were doing and thinking, you know, we're supposed to be doing circle time right now and be playing in the classroom. So I thought, let's do a little video and do some of the things we normally do and hang out this way. You'll have to bear with Miss Mary. She's not typically on a cell phone like this or on a computer, so it might be a little different, but at least I get to see your face and you get to see mine. Um, sorry we're not hanging out today together, but they've got this nasty virus going around. You might have heard Mom and Dad talking about it, and it's making people not feel good and making people sick, so if we kind of take a break from each other and we don't pass around our germs, maybe we won't get moms and dads and grandma and grandpa sick. So while you're at your house, you know, have a really good time with moms and dads and brother and sisters and cousins. Make sure you wash your hands. Don't rub your eyes. Don't rub your nose. No picking the nose. No fingers in the mouth. Get the fingers out of the mouth. And if you drop your food on the floor, don't eat it. Go put it in the trash. That way you stay nice and healthy and we get to be together sooner, really quick. Well, anyway, I thought we could do some circle time together. Does that sound like fun? You wanna do a little circle time? All right, okay, we gotta pretend like we're really doing circle time here in my classroom. So I want you to go over to the floor and I want you to sit down and get ready for circle time. So, crisscross applesauce, hands in your lap, ears are listening, eyes are looking, brains are thinking. Oh gosh, look at me, I already forgot all that I'm supposed to do. Eyes are looking, brains are thinking, mouths are closed. Zip them, lock them, throw away the key. All right, good job. Oh, you look so nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me see. Nice, good job, guys. All right, firework. Shh. Ah, very nice, very nice. Good job, guys. Kiss your brain. All right, so let's go do the calendar. I'm gonna take you with me. All right. Looking at our calendar. Oh my gosh, guys. We haven't been together since all the way over there. That was on, ooh, 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 right there. On the 13th. We haven't been together since the 13th. Let's see how far we've been since then. Well, let's count to there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. We got to go all the way over here. So 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. There we are today. We are all the way down at 23. 20 starts with what number? All our 20s start with twos. All the 20s start with twos. And we're on 23. Now we're still up in March. So we're still in the month that had St. Patrick's Day in it, but it's already passed now. I hope y'all wore green last week on St. Patrick's Day. I did and Molly did and we made some Irish bread in the house. It was really neat. So I hope y'all got to do St. Patty's Day that way. And maybe you told your mom all about the leprechauns. Remember, what are the leprechauns? They are what for the fairies? That's right, they're shoemakers for the fairies. That's right, and they're always trying to cause mischief and they like to play what on people? You're right, they like to play tricks on people. All right, what do they hide at the end of the rainbow? Pot of gold, that's right, right. And what do we gotta do to find out where their gold is? We have to catch them. And if we catch them, then they have to tell us where their gold is. So look out for those rainbows because that pot of gold's at the end. All right, so, all right, so we are on the 23rd of March. Let's sing our March song. Okay, I'm gonna put the poster up. Did y'all recognize this poster? All right. Now, remember, we're gonna have to show mom and dad that Miss Mary is not the best singer in the world. All right. The month of March will welcome spring. The trees will bud, the birds will sing. Kites will soar high on a string and rainbows paint the sky. Good job, guys. Don't make fun of Miss Mary's singing, Mom, Dad. I see y'all back there. You're making fun of my singing. I was in the band, right? All right, so let's go on. 
All right, we got to switch up here. We got March, so let's put it all the way on the 23rd. Miss Mary's doing this one-handed. All right. All right, so we are on March, and if we were number 23 standing in line, we'd be in what place? We'd be 23rd. So we are March 23rd, 2020, 2020. All right, let's see. Let's do our days of the week. Seven days. Seven days. Seven days. Seven days in a week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, and there's Saturday. Seven days. Seven days. Seven days, seven days in a week. Boom. Good job, Wesley. I think I heard your bump. Good job. Yay. Good job, guys. All right. So yesterday was Sunday. So today's the first day of the week. So that makes it what day? Good job, Monday. I heard, I heard you say it. Good job, guys. It's Monday. Today is Monday. Today is Monday. All day long. All day long, yesterday was Sunday, tomorrow will be Tuesday. Let's have fun, let's have fun. I heard y'all singing, good job, but y'all gotta sing louder so I can hear you because I don't hear you very well because you're so far away. All right, so let's see, let's do our letter of the week. Well, first, we gotta go over our alphabet. Got us a little poster set up here. All right, typically we do it on my top board, but I thought that'd be kind of hard, so we'll do it on this one. All right, A, B, C, D, E, sing along with me. F, G, H, I, J, and K, it's easy as can be. L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, N, X, and Y, and the last letter is Z. I heard y'all this time y'all were singing loud. Good job. All right, so we have done A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X. So that means we're on Y. The letter of the week is Y. Y, Y, Y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let's see. We're going to take down our X. Let's get out our Y. Y, Y, Y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what kind of things make the yeah sound? Yogurt. Yeah, you're right. Oh, Cora, I heard you say your favorite color. Yellow. You're right. What else makes the yeah sound? A yak. Yeah. A yak, like that fuzzy little buffalo. Yeah, I like those yaks. Well, let's see what we have in here for why We have yogurt, yeah. Oh, yo-yo. So why, 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 yeah, 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 for yogurt and yo-yo. Good job, guys. All right, rhyme time. Let's take down these from last week. Get out some new ones. All right. Found them. I got bug and rug. Bug, rug. They both make the ug sound. What other words rhyme with bug and rug? Let me hear you. I know y'all remember some of them. Bug, rug, tug, good, lug. Yeah, got to lug this phone along. What else? Mug. Ooh, yeah, mug, mug. Ooh, pug. Huh, I like the puppy. I like a pug. So pug. Anything else? Anything else? Dug. You're right, like you dug in the dirt. Good job, guys. All those rhyme with bug and rug. Good job. All right, our color of the week. Last week was blue. This week is red. Let's sing our song for moms and dads. 
R E D red, R E D red. I can spell red, I can spell red. Fire trucks are red, stop signs are red too. R E D, R E D. Do your moms and dads have fingers in their ears right now listening to Miss Mary's great singing? It's not nice. Y'all be nice. All right. Now let's move on to our shape of the week. Last week was square. Remember? Before y'all left, we were on square. So now we're going to stretch it out. We're going to pull on it and pull on it and stretch that square out and make it a rectangle. How many sides are on our rectangle? One, two, three, one at the bottom, four. Good job. How many points? One, two, three, four. Four points. How many faces? Good job. One face. One face on the front. What color is our rectangle today? Orange. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. Y'all ready for the weather? Let's do the weather. All right. Let's get up here. All right. Spin the wheel of weather. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy? Is it cold? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it snowy? Is it cloudy? Is it stormy? Is it hot? All right, well, let's go check it out. All right, come on, guys. Let's go check it out. Miss Mary still has her leprechaun up. Oh, let's look outside. Oh, I see a lot of clouds today. Not bad. It rained the other day. Did it rain at your house? Yours too? Yeah, mine too. I got some good rain. All right, so let's go back. Let's put Cloudy up on our board. All right. So it is cloudy. So, not too cold outside. So, I'm thinking it's a good day. What do y'all think? T-shirt or sweater? T-shirt? All right, good day for a T-shirt. All right, we'll put the T-shirt up there. Oh, right there. Okay, okay, what do y'all think? Um, you think a swimsuit or pants? Pants? All right, yeah, you're right. A swimsuit would be crazy. Pants. All right, pants. Shirt and pants. What do y'all think? Maybe some shorts? Shorts? Yes. Well, okay. Let's go for shorts. We're going to go for shorts. Shorts. All right, let's put it up there. Hope I'm actually showing you. There we go. So it's a good day for t-shirt, shorts, and pants. Good job, guys. All right, when we left off last week on the number of the week, we were on number... Eight. So let's count up. See where we are at this week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's add one more. And we have nine. So let's switch out our number. Number nine. What does a nine look like? It looks like what number upside down? You're right, it's six. Ooh. Here we go, number nine. Looks like that funny six turned upside down. How do we draw a nine? We do a circle and a stick. Good job, guys. So there's nine. Let's count backwards. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good job, guys. Let's do it in Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Nueve is this week. Good job, guys. All right. What to next? Come on, guys. Let's go ahead and go over all of our letters and sounds because y'all have been gone for a couple of days now. And I don't want y'all forgetting your sounds while you are out. So I found this nifty little thing to put my cards up. And we can go over our letters. Are y'all ready? Are y'all still, are you still sitting on the carpet? Are, are you, st stop spinning around. Sit, sit, 
Sit, sit on your spot. Thank you, thank you. All right, real quick. All right, ch 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 looking good, guys. All right, what else? What else can we do? Mm, you know, let's stop for a second. Let's let's think about kiss your brain. Now I want you to think about something special. Ooh, what do we want to think about? Uh, I'm thinking about you guys. Uh, so let's think about all our friends in class. Think about them. Grab that. Kiss it. Put it in your heart. Good job. All right, what else? What else can we think about? Let's think about mom and dad. Mom and dad, grab them. Kiss them. Put them in your heart. All right. What else can we think about? Let's think about like our grandmas and grandpas. Grab those. Kiss them. Put them in your heart. Good job, guys. All right. Get crisscross applesauce. Good job. Let's take a second to do open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them right up to your chin. Open up your mouth, but don't let them in. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Give a little clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Put them in your lap. Oh, wow. You look great. You are sitting there so quiet, ready to do your letters and sounds. Y'all ready? Okay. All right, so we've got A, 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 for, oh, there's my first one, apple, and A for acorn. What do we call these guys? Letters that have our long sound and our short sound. Vowels, good job. I could hear y'all telling me that from here. B, 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 bell. C, 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 cat. D, 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 dog. E, 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 elephant, and E for eagle. What was that one? It had two sounds. Wow, good job. F, 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 fox. G, 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 goat. H, 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 horse. I, 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 inchworm, and I for ice cream. We got another vowel. Good job, guys. J, 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 jar. K, 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 kite. L, 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 O, 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 lamp. M, 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 milk. N N N N N N nest. O O O A A A ostrich. And O for open. We got another vowel. P P P P P P pig. Q Q Q Qu 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 queen. R R R R R R ring. S S S S S S Sun, T T T T T T table, U U U, uh 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 umbrella and U for uniform. Another vowel. V V V V V V violin. W W W W W W for wagon. X, 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 for fox and box and axe. Y, 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 yarn and Z, Z, Z for zebra. Good job, guys. Really good. I could hear y'all. Y'all were doing all those sounds. Keep practicing those. Practice makes perfect with those. All right. I guess one more thing. Let's do our... story for the day. We got to have a story and I picked one out for you because because it's going to be April in just a couple of days that means we're going to have a new holiday. So let's look at our months of the year and see what holidays coming up. All right we have 
January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December, months of the year. All right, so we were in March. Now we're going to April. And we have Easter bunnies, and we have eggs and carrots. What holiday is it going to be? It's going to be Easter. You're right. Easter bunny's going to be coming. So since we're done with St. Patrick's Day and reading about our leprechauns, now we're going to start reading about Easter and maybe some Easter eggs. But more importantly, Easter's not just about the Easter bunny. Remember, we're also learning about who? Jesus. That's right. Because Easter is when we celebrate when he died on the cross. But then, remember, it all worked out because he rose up again. He came back to life and then he went up into heaven. And we're going to be learning those stories soon. So I might be sending you some videos of that story this week about Jesus. But for now, let's go with the bunny. This is called Catch That Egg. It's by Lucy Rowland. That's the, who wrote the story? the author. You're right. Do y'all remember who drew the pictures? Illustrator. Illustrator is the person who draws the pictures in the book. And here's our title, Catch the Egg. All right, I'm going to set it over here on my little board for y'all to see. So you can see the picture is really good. All right, so Catch the Egg. Ooh, Miss Mary's going to be really smart. She's going to turn this around so that y'all can see it with the light. Miss Mary will get better at this. Hopefully I don't have to do this long. Catch that egg. Oh, look at all the pretty flowers. Ooh. Got a little chicken. Boink, 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 boink. There goes the egg. All right. Floppet was a bunny with the most enormous feet. His friends could hear him coming with his very bouncy beat. He liked to skip. He liked to hop. He liked to jump around. And he loved the boingy noises as he bounced along the ground. Oof. That's not a fun sound. But one day, in his burrow, as he flopped across the floor, his mom said, Stop it, flop it. I can't take it anymore. You're making such a racket. Can't you go outside to play? So flop it thought, I'll find my friends. And he hopped off on his way. But... Chicken was too busy. She was guarding lots of eggs when Floppet came a-jumpin' on his long and hoppy legs. Stop it, Floppet, Chicken said. Your noisy feet will shake them. My eggs are very precious. It's important not to break them. Sheep was with her sleepy lambs all curled up in the hay, and when Floppet came a-skippin' and a-hoppin' up that day. Stop it, flop it, muttered Sheep. You're making such a den. Hop off towards the cow shed now and see if cow is in. But cow was with her baby calves and looking a little busy when flop it came a hopping by and left her feeling dizzy. Stop it, flop it, grumbled cow. They're learning how to walk. Your bouncing isn't helping, and I haven't time to talk. So Floppet tried his other friends, but dog and cat and pig said, Stop it, Floppet, quiet now. Your feet are just too big. Floppet peered down at his feet, then slowly hopped away. Perhaps I'm just too bouncy. Oh, I only want to play. It was too long later that the bunny hopped along and heard some noisy shouting. Oh, he thought, there's something wrong. He stopped and watched and waited. Then he saw a cow running past. Her calf had knocked poor chicken's egg and off it rolled so fast. 
The egg sped quickly down the hill and Cal ran right past Flopit. Catch that egg, poor chicken yelled, but no, cow couldn't stop it. The egg rolled past the big barn doors where sheep stood just inside. Catch that egg, the cow cried out. It's going to break, she cried. It rolled past dog, it rolled past cat. Catch that egg, sheep said. Catch that egg, they yelled to pig. It flew right past pig's head. The egg went up and up and then was falling through the sky, but luckily the animals saw Flopit hopping by. Such bouncy feet, such hoppy legs, was he the one to stop it? They pointed up towards the egg and shouted, Catch it, Flopit! Flopit crouched down really low, and with one mighty jump, he sprang up high and caught the egg then landed with a thump. The friends all gave a great big cheer. The lambs began to bleat. Hip, hip, hooray for Flopit and his very bouncy feet. Flopit felt so proud, but when the egg began to shake, he heard a little crack, and then the shell began to break. He rushed the egg to chicken, but he tripped up on his feet. The egg flew slowly through the air and landed with a tweet. A head popped out, then two small legs, and chicken shouted, quick, catch it, flop it, laughed his friends. You've got to catch that chick. The end. Hope you liked that. That was a good little story. All right, guys. So I think that's good for our circle time today. I think we did really well. Miss Mary will try to get back on here soon and do a different video and maybe we'll do something different that we do in class typically. Y'all be sending me some videos, okay? Tell your mom and dad to uh, let you see their phone for a second and send me a little video of what you're doing at your house and how you're passing the time. Me and Molly are playing lots of games and we are cleaning and we are organizing and just trying to be productive while we're stuck at home. Hope y'all are doing really well. I miss you a lot, guys. Hope to see you soon. Y'all say your prayers and y'all be good and y'all be washing your hands and don't be giving your mom and, and dad's hard times, okay? Because then they get really grumpy and grouchy. Hope to see you soon, guys. Y'all say your prayers before your lunch and say your prayers before you go to bed tonight, okay? I'll check you later.